Mike, take one. We think of Etsy as the cheapest place to start a business. It's 20 cents to start a listing, and that's all you need. Eventually make a living, find their fan base around the world. Um, and it's really special to sort of empower that. And we here at Etsy are working on our own craft. We're coding to create the platform that sellers can use to sell their crafts. It's now not uncommon to see when engineers make a big change on the site, they'll send out an email to the whole company explaining what the change was and talking about what its impact was. And now they also include what the energy impact of their change was. Sustainability is important to Etsy for the same reason that it should be important to all companies and all people um, because it's critical if we want to you know, maintain this beautiful planet that we have for generations to come. Chelsea, take one. At Etsy, we have nine environmental and social impact goals, um, and two of those and deal with our environmental sustainability work. The first one is around sustainable operations, and the second one is around net zero emissions. So when we're talking about a website's carbon footprint, we're talking about the energy that it takes behind the scenes to run the servers, run the databases. In order for a company to reduce its carbon footprint, they have to be able to measure their carbon footprint. That's essential. While we definitely know we've reduced our energy consumption, what we're missing is the actual monitoring of energy. Google came in and said, how do we partner with you to solve these problems? Interestingly, Etsy came to us when they were looking to move to the cloud, and they've been leading the industry in sustainability, not just in the retail space where they are, but actually across many dot-coms. When Etsy moved from on-premises servers to Google Cloud, we were very excited because it meant an energy reduction for us. And in the absence of actual energy data and consumption since we moved out of the data center, we created an abstraction or unit of measurement called the Cloud Jewel that it allows us to achieve our goals. A cloud jewel is a unit of measurement for energy usage in the cloud. It equates to approximate kilowatt hour. So it's really helpful for us to be able to take the cloud jewels data and be able to show it to our engineers um, and say, this is the amount of energy you're using. Part of the process with Cloud Jewels was to have it uh, peer reviewed by industry leaders and then to have it audited and verified by PwC. And did it get its accreditation? It absolutely did, yep. I'd say from the get go, our relationship with Etsy has always been one of aligned values. It does go beyond the environment, it involves education, it involves well being of your employees and well being of your customers as well. I've been working with Etsy long enough that I actually don't remember when our partnership started. But I think what I'm most proud of in our partnership with Etsy is really what I've been able to help Etsy accomplish. What Google has allowed us to do is to share our position much more broadly. And so we've gotten a, a bigger voice than we could have on our own, and that's made even more impact. The corporate carbon footprint is so important to keep in mind because its impact is so huge. Octo gave us an incredible platform to share this work, um, to get this work in front of people we wouldn't have had access to otherwise. If we can impact another 10 companies, we've actually had a bigger impact externally than internally. Google's allowed us to do that. Etsy's future is really exciting. They continue to grow and expand, especially internationally, and I'm looking forward to continuing to work with Etsy to help them move to the next level. <laughs>